Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about contour maps, how to draw profiles, how to find the gradient, how to find the vertical exaggeration, and so on. So you can see here right now, I have a map. Now, this is actually not Google Map. It is called Queensland Globe. So if you Google that, you should be able to see this address, queenslandglobe.information.qld.gov.au. And basically, the cool thing about this map is you can actually turn on, under layers, Queensland topographic map. If you turn that on, you will see a map with contour lines. So to help you guys understand contour lines, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to... 3d mode okay and i'm gonna zoom out a bit so i'm gonna turn on 3d view so you can see that there are some mountains in this area you can see it looks like there's a mountain and if i use my right mouse button hold it down and drag it down you can see it in 3d that there is indeed a mountain so over here at this point at this point right here, it is higher than ground level, right? This Let's say this is ground level, this is a mountain. So at this point here, it will have a higher altitude. So if I go back and turn on the topographic map contour lines, you can see at these points, the height above sea level is 410. And then basically the height, every time there is a line towards the higher point, um, the meters above sea level increases by 10. So here is 400, this line is 410, this line would be 420 and so on. So we've got 400, 390, 380, so you can see it says 380 here, 370, 360 350 so the thicker line over here is 350 and you should be able to see so this thicker line is 350 this thicker line is 400 so the thicker lines will tell you that you are another 50 meters above sea level okay so that's the point of having the contour lines and now I'm going to show you guys how to draw a profile. So let's label two points on here. So somehow it's not loading properly, which is a bit of a shame. But anyway, so let's uh, have the highest point here. So let me just draw a point. Let me just draw a point. Um, just a black point, doesn't matter. And then let me draw another point down here, which, which is uh, 400, 350. So let's just draw another point here. And let's join up these two points using a straight line. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this map into OneNote to help me draw a cross section. So here is a little grid that I have set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the bottom. So I'm going to set the y-axis, the um, bottom of the y-axis to, well, if you have a look at this point here, let's call that point A. And let's call this point B. And if you have a look at where point A is, it's just a below 350 so let's just make the bottom 340 so we got 340 350 let's just zoom in a bit on this so zoom in a little bit um, then I have 350 360, 370, 380, and so on. Oops. 390. So at point A, this line here, as I mentioned previously, 
has a height of 350. As you can see, we've got 330, 340, 350. So at 350, at point A, um, where the line crosses the contour line, I'm going to draw a little dot. I'm going to go draw a straight line down to the cross section. And I'm going to also cross where 350 is. And I'm going to just put a little dot here. Okay, so I'm basically going to repeat that process and just go down from all the intersections. Okay, so these are where they all intersect. So let's just keep going down. At this point here, it's going to go to 360. Oops. 360 and this point goes to 370 380 390 410 420 oops uh so that's 400 410 420 and finally a little bit higher than that so let's just make it 425 or something like that at where point B is and where point A is um, where point A is I guess it is a bit lower than 350 so 345 and so on so now I can just join up these points join up these points where they touch the line into a little cross section which is I guess you can think of as a side view a side view of the mountain side view of the mountain so um, let's zoom out. Let's zoom out back to what it was before. So there you go. I've drawn a little cross section. So there are a few things we can work out here. Okay. There are a few things we can work out here. The first thing we want to work out is the gradient. Gradient. Gradient is basically the vertical distance divided by the horizontal distance and you need two points okay so that we're finding the gradient of a to b gradient of point a to point b so what is the vertical dis distance well point b has a height of about 425 so 425 meters is point B minus point A which has a height of four, 345 now what is the horizontal distance the horizontal distance was not given to you on this map but let's say that um, I wrote this question and I told you that the scale of this map is one centimeter is one kilometer one centimeter is one kilometer so then what you would do is you would measure with your ruler if you had a ruler so i'm just going to draw a virtual ruler because um, it's a lot of trouble to get a ruler onto the screen but if i had a ruler and i was measuring this and you have zero centimeter you got one centimeter two centimeters three centimeters four centimeters let's say this became 4.5 centimeters then the horizontal distance would be 4.5 centimeters times one kilometer so that would be 4.5 kilometers 
All right, so 4.5 times one kilometer, so that's 4.5 kilometers, and then you got 425 meter minus 345 meters. So what's that? So you have 80 meters at the top, and the bottom is 4.5 kilometers. So all that is 4.5 kilometers. So you would go 4.5 kilometers is 4,500 meters. So you go 80 divided by 4,500. And that is 0 0.0177. And that is the gradient. Okay, so the steeper, the bigger this number is, the steeper it is. Okay, so the next thing we want to calculate is called the vertical exaggeration. What is the vertical exaggeration? Vertical exaggeration is basically saying, I am, how much you're exaggerating the slope. Because you're using a different scale horizontally, compared to vertically, horizontally we are using one centimeter equals one kilometer. So that is the scale of this map if you're going from point A to point B. But vertically, if you have a look at our profile, we're using a scale that is different. So if you have a look at the length from here to here, let's measure that in centimeters with a ruler, that will probably be I don't know, 3, 3.5 centimeters. But in real life, it is only 340 to 420. So what's that? 80 meters. 3.5 centimeters is only equal to 80 meters. So that is a very different scale to that. So we are basically looking at a slope that has been exaggerated a lot because in real life if you were standing on the side looking at the slope it might only be uh, something like this if you were looking at it in real life but we exaggerate the height so how much is it exaggerated by so the vertical exaggeration is calculated by using this formula vertical exaggeration equals vertical scale divided by horizontal scale so what is the vertical scale vertical scale as i have mentioned previously it's 3.5 centimeters to 80 meters and what is the horizontal scale horizontal scale is one centimeter to one kilometer Okay, now you're thinking, how do, on earth do we divide this? Well, the first thing we got to do is make sure all the units are the same. So let's just convert it all to the smallest unit, which is centimeters. So I have 3.5 centimeters to 80 meters. So meters to centimeters, just times by 100. So that's 80, 100 centimeters. And then I have one centimeter to one kilometer. So that's one centimeter to what's one kilometer. That's 1000 meters, which is add another two zeros. One kilometer is a hundred thousand centimeters. So now that they're all in centimeters, I can rewrite them as fractions. So it's 3.5 divided by 8,000. All right, that's basically how you convert a ratio to a fraction. And then you divide it by 1 over 100,000. Okay, so now just put this big equation into the calculator. So let's put in bracket 3.5 divided by 8,000 divided by bracket one divided by a hundred thousand okay so now put all this in 43.75 
a vertical exaggeration of 43.75. So what does that mean? That means the scale used for vertical axis is 43.7 times. 43.75 times the scale used for the horizontal axis so the slope is exaggerated by a factor of 43.75 so in real life if we're looking at the slope of the mountain it'll be 43 times uh, it'll be a factor of 1 over 43 times that height so it'll be very very uh, not steep whereas we've exaggerated it to become really steep okay thanks for watching this tutorial see you guys next time